Well, hello everyone, it's Sheila back again with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show how to do this corner to corner in um, knitting corner to corner. This is equivalent to the crochet granny square. Only you're knitting it instead of crocheting it. And it's very simple. And I never ever did this. I do I've done tutorials on my other channel that Sheila's for anyone that doesn't know that Sheila's knitting tips and other stuff. I've done a lot of tutorials on that one and for some reason I never ever told this one. I don't know why. I think I just forgot about it um at the time actually. But um I was just messing about with some of my odd bits of yarn and that like this and wondering what I could do and I thought oh I could try some little granny squares so that's what I'm going to show you how to do this one I'm doing it on a it's a bright yellow it's a better colour to show up on this um, board that I've got here so make a slip knot first Now I'm just making a little short end because it's only for a tutorial but if you're doing it yourself you'd make a longer end because you would probably want to sew that, that end in. And so I'm starting off with two stitches. Some people start off with three, some four, some five, It's but I find two works fine. So that's my two stitches I've cast on. And I'm going to knit, increase into the first stitch. And knit the second stitch. Now I'm going to knit the first stitch. Increasing the second stitch. So I'm knitting into the front of the stitch, the yarn over the needle, pull it through, and then I'm knitting into the back of that stitch. Simple increase. And I'm knitting the last stitch now. So that's four stitches I now have on the needle. And again, I'm knitting in the first stitch, increasing into the second stitch, that's knitting into the front and the back of that stitch, that's all you do for the increase, and then knitting those two stitches, so we now have five stitches on the needle. And that's all you do, you increase on the second stitch at the start, only on the start. You don't increase at the end, just at the start of the row. So that's knitted the first stitch. I'm knitting into the front and the back of the second stitch. And knitting the last three stitches on the needle. That's six stitches I now have on the needle. I'm knitting into the front, the first stitch, and then into the front and the back with the second stitch. I'm knitting to the end of the row. And I will now knit a few rows and speed up the video so we can get a bit further on.
And I think that's as much as I need to do to show you how to do it. Um, and that speed you've just seen was not my normal <laughs> my normal knitting speed. I speeded the, um, the video up a bit. So now I'm going to show you how to decrease the stitches now. So it's exactly the same as increasing, only instead of the increasing, you're decreasing. You're knitting two stitches together at the start of every row. Only at the start. That's knit one. It's two together. And then knit to the end of the row. In the next row, same again. Knit one stitch, the two together. I think I'm knitting really tight, tighter than what I normally do here. And that's all you do for the decreasing, just knit one, knit two together and knit to the end of the row. And I'll speed that up to, to show till I get to the, um, to the end point. Now I have five stitches left on here and as you can see the well it's like a diamond shape is taking taking shape well and now we do this row this is the last row of the normal decreasing we're going to knit one the two together Knit one, knit two. We have four stitches left on the needle. So those four stitches we're going to knit two together. Knit those last two together. So that you're knitting two together twice on that row. That leaves two stitches we're going to slip one stitch knit the next stitch and slip that stitch over and there you have 
It's a very small <laughs> one, but that's corner to corner. Turn it round. It's another little granny square. I'll blow that up a little bit, you can see better. So, a very simple, simple way and easy to knit. Just garter stitch, nothing else. You can make a lacy edge if you um, if you want. So that's my little tutorial for today. So if you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll show you more some other time. So bye for now.